sun situation outside it is getting pretty warm we are back for another this time yummy vlog from Istanbul we're gonna be talking about farmers market and this has been a topic that I have been wanting to cover on my channel for a long time uh, even before I moved here I've seen so many pictures from Istanbul from different farmers markets and it has always been so colorful and attractive before even moving here I have heard so many good things about it that it's a definite must whenever you're visiting whenever you're living here you have to know where the local market is and visit it at least once this video itself is several weeks in the making because i was trying to get as much footage and clips as i could to show how the produce changes how fast and often produce changes throughout the season every single week um, and the farmers market and as you probably heard farmers market in Istanbul is a once a week type of thing and for each district they have their own day and if you're lucky enough you could be living in the walking distance uh, to several of them for example I live very close like five minutes away from the farmers market where I usually go and there's also and it's on Monday and there's also one that is on Saturday and it's about a 30 minute walk away from me that should not a 30 minute walk should not uh, terrify you if you think that you're gonna get all those groceries and will have to carry them back as a seasoned uh, farmers market shopper you should get a bag on wheels a typical uh, bazaar bag on wheels that all locals here get now the vendors come to the area the night before to set up all the things they are going to be selling the next day and you are free to come there early as early in the morning as you would like but you would never see a seasoned farmers market shopper there uh, before afternoon or before lunch because that's when the prices are static and there's nothing there, there's no discounts there's nothing uh, happening with prices um, now the prices at the farmers markets are usually already lower than the supermarkets so you could come in the morning or you could come in the early afternoon that's actually the time that I prefer to go there because it's less crowded and less hectic than after lunch when the prices start to drop because that's when uh, more people start to come there and the vendors kind of start this yelling battle <laughs> where they scream out the the lower prices under their, their competitor um it, it it really quickly becomes something really really hectic so if you are into loud places um with a lot of people come after lunch if you're more like me and more claustrophobic then uh, be there early in the morning or before noon the prices are still low the crowd is just the the right size it's not too big and you can easily and comfortably do your shopping um, and still end up buying a lot of things for less money. Closer to five, something really crazy starts to happen there. They even have the name for that. They have the five o'clock price. That is the, the lowest the price would get the day. And that place turns into a really hectic area real quick because the farmer's market uh, closes at seven. So at around five and later, they start kind of packing and they have this overhead tent that they start to uh, wrap and, uh, and put down. So imagine you're walking and there's a lot of people that come there closer to five and later to get the lowest price. So the, there's a big crowd, there's people yelling from all sides and there's a tent coming from uh from above that was my first impression that was actually the first time i uh went there unfortunately it was around five o'clock but i guess that's the atmosphere of the place and it is something to experience at least once uh, for one thing you see 
the just enormous variety of things not just produce not just fruits and veggies you see a lot of fresh organic just from the farm dairy products cheese eggs milk uh, you can get jams, pickled veggies, you can get spices, teas, and all kinds of things there. Make sure you come there with smaller bills and just a bunch of coins. They're going to be happy for that because that's going to be their change for the next customer. Um, you can pick your own produce or you can ask uh, the vendor to pick it for you. Just let them know how much of it you want. In case you don't have time to go to the farmer's market but you still want to experience the farmer's market produce, there are so many different ways you can order straight from the farmers and I have been using once in a while, especially during lockdown, I've been using the platform called Mesimi and it's uh, straight from the farm's um, delivery where you can pick um, the box size and what goes into a box. You can pick, now they have they updated it. Now you can get a fruit box separately, the veggie box separately, and you can do a dairy box and uh, just greens. So there's a lot of varieties and I like that and uh, you do pay a little bit of a, uh, extra money for delivery but it is to support the local business and the farmers so it's all good and you don't carry the whole thing it just delivers straight to your door so that's nice another interesting uh fact about the farmers market in istanbul that kind of in the middle of it it merges with the textiles market the bazaar is dividing into two parts where you can get all kinds of textiles and um also clothes and kitchenware and uh, slippers, souvenirs, toys, and then it kind of goes back to spices, teas, and goes kind of merges back to the farmer's market. So that was, I thought that was pretty interesting. If you're in Istanbul, make sure and find the closest farmer's market to you. Get a little bit of cash because you can get a lot for a little bit of money. Taste those wonderful veggies and fruits and teas and spices because you, I'm sure you're gonna love them. And even if you get there at five o'clock, it is an experience to be had at least once uh, in a lifetime. So you never know what you can find. You never know what taste you might discover. You can actually find fruits and veggies and spices and teas that you've never even had before. That brings me to my next video about 10 things that I've tried in Turkey for the very first time. Despite the fact that Azerbaijan and Turkey are brotherly countries and pretty close to each other. I did find a bunch of things that I've never tried in my life, I've never even heard about. I always say get as many new experiences as you can because that means that you actually really lived. Anyway, um, I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one where I'm trying and showing 10 things that I've never tried before that I've tried for the very first time in Turkey. I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.